Hey guys, it's me, and this is a, a video blog about my um, weight loss in the last month or so. On December 1st, I was around 600 pounds, and um, as of January 4th, I'm at 529 pounds, and that's a weight loss of, of over 71 pounds in about 35 days or so. And um, how I'm doing that um, is just through a, a balanced diet, and um, I'll show it to you right now. It is almost 8 o'clock. Here's what I'm having for breakfast. This is a typical meal. Looks like a serving of eggs and an English muffin. Um, got some milk, which I will not be drinking. Orange juice, which I will be, and right here we have some oatmeal. So that is a typical breakfast for me. It is close to 12 o'clock, and it is lunchtime. And what we have today is some type of barbecue meat with a side of veggies a roll I think that's potato salad and a cookie and I also have on my tray some pink drink which I will not be drinking and if you look there's like salt and pepper and sometimes they give me margarine you know for the for the meals and the only time I use the margarine or is in the morning you know because I, I use that as a fat in the morning so um, that's lunch um, yum alright it's around three or four o'clock that's when I have a snack and what I have for a snack that I've been eating are brown rice cakes. I don't know if you can see that or not. You know, it's just white cheddar flavored rice cakes. You know, it's generic brand and you know, they're like 40, 40 calories each and um, eight carbohydrates and um, you know, I, I just have this basically as a filler because I have I have dinner around five or six and I have around one or two of these so it just it just keeps me you know from starving I guess and you know it's it's not that bad alright it's around 515 it is dinner time and we have today, I don't even know what we're eating today, it looks like some pink drink, looks like we got some watermelon, and it looks like some type of soup, um, then we have what looks like a Egg salad sandwich or something, and it looks like beets. Um, this is a, a typical dinner, I guess. Um, probably not gonna eat the beets. I'm not gonna drink that, um, but I will eat the sandwich and the watermelon and the soup. Um, Bon appetit. As you can see, the um, portions were normal. You know, I'd probably eat three or four of those meals in one sitting. Um, but, you know, I'm just eating those meals and being strong about it. You know, even though I'm going through a lot right now, you know, and I want to eat so much and, you know, I'm just 
pushing through those hunger pains, pushing through those feelings, and um, you know what, uh, it's kind of hard considering, you know, I, I can't even walk right now, you know, I, I have to use a wheelchair right there if you see it, and um, you know, and and I remember when I first got hurt, I wanted a hardcore diet, you know, I was going to do salads only and, you know, stay away from everything. And then I figured, you know what, my leg needs to heal right now. So, you know, I, I don't want to take away those macronutrients from my body. You know, my body needs this right now to heal. So, you know, I've been very blessed, very lucky to, you know, you know, not be able to walk, but lose so much weight in a long time, and and of course it's water weight, you know, and um, you know, but there's a lot of willpower too, because even though I'm getting these this food brought to me, you know, and staying strong, there are vending machines here, and um, I've been offered takeout menus. You know, there's a bigger guy that comes in here. He's around like 500 pounds or so, and he comes in in his motorized scooter. And he goes, hey Dave, you know I can hook you up with some takeout menus, and I'm like, and I'm like, no, I, I can't do it because, you know, just being here and seeing what could be, I don't want that in my life, you know. Even though, you know, everything's happened to me, you know, I, I just want to get better and and live again because this isn't living, you know, <laughs> this is like a, a bed prison, but. You know, um, let's see, as far as, like, working out, um, it's been kind of hard because, you know, I, I just have a resistance band right now, and I just got my wheelchair the other day, and, you know, I've been rolling around in the wheelchair, and um, it's a lot harder than I thought, you know. I thought, you know, I'd, I'd, you know, once I get in that chair, you know, I just have to go a little bit, but, you know, I, I could feel my, my weight on it, and, um, and, um, you know, it's just, you know, an experience for me, and, um, actually, they have, like, a small little gym here, and, you know, yesterday, I did the, the hand bike, you know, and I did as much as I could, and, um, I'm actually going to set out a plan where I'm going to be doing that hand bike, and then also I'm going to be doing some, some, um, free weights, you know, it's, it's all going to be high reputation, because the weights here are, you know, eight or nine pounds, so I'm just going to be doing some timed rounds and, you know, going until failure and, um, you know, just be able to move and, you know, I've been so lucky because I've lost so much weight without, you know, even exercising right now, so it's, you know, it's, it, it's, it's, you know, it's, it's wonderful and, um, you know, and I, I, I contribute it to a lot to, to water weight again and, um, you know, also, you know, b beforehand, I, my calories must have been through the roof, you know, I, I you know, I was going through the, the breakup and everything at the time, and, you know, moving in the house and dealing with my depression and, you know, eating my feelings away, and, you know what, I was going, eating fast food all the time, you know, eating ice cream all the time, I was drinking four liters of soda a day, and, you know, and, and, and it caught up with me, you know, um, so, you know, right now I'm, you know, staying positive, you know, because I, I know I'm going to do this more so than I've ever felt in my life. And, um, you know, it's, it's going to be a fun ride. So, so stick around and, um, you know, just find some motivation in this and, um, you know, it's, it's going to happen for me and, you know, and, and I think it comes down to attitude because you have to have that, that attitude like, I'm going to do this no matter what, you know, no matter what the odds, no matter if you're stuck in bed for five weeks and eight weeks and you might have to have surgery for your leg, who cares? Just do what you can do right now and every day is progress and never give up, guys. So that's the attitude I'm going with and, um, you know, um, <laughs> I'm going to do it, so, you know, and um, hit me up, you know, on Facebook or whatnot, like, post on my wall, and I'll try to get back to you guys. Sometimes with the personal messages, it, it, you know, it's, it's kind of hard, and, um, but, um, you know, I'll, I'll try to get back to you and 
just know that you could do this.